So I'm 100% known as the office hoarder here. I am the one who collects the most amount of why am I in business with these people? I found myself a little Super 8 projector, that's what they're called. And here it is, it's from Austria. It was made in 1967. Look at that! <laughs> It's Monday morning, it's currently 7.53 a.m. Today's the day, everything kind of reopens. Non-essential shop, pubs, restaurants, bars, hairdressers, barbers, gyms, all of that stuff opens up. And I'm in early today because I've got what I think is the first slot with my barber, Mr. Gruff. Um, so I'm just about to head down there now, but I thought I'd just show you the hair before I get it cut. It, my hair does grow quite quick. Out of control at this point. Speak to you in a bit. Right. Look who it is! Like Joss it. Anderson, new haircut! New ooh, haircut. Ooh, 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 ooh. How's your new haircut, mate? Very good, thank you. I'm very happy. So, hi everyone, and um, welcome back to another crazy vlog of ours. This week, we don't know what we're gonna do yet. <laughs> Plenty of debauchery, I'm sure, but that's about it. Okay, goodbye for now. Good morning, vlog. It is Monday. Happy reopening to gyms. I've been to the gym this morning, so has Dan. Josh's been for a haircut. We've all been doing the normal stuff again, which sure is nice. As a little uh, business treat, I booked in for, for drinks tonight, last week, with the boys, so we could like have a few drinks, let off some steam from a busy year. And uh, yeah, you know, they get in today and they're like, yeah, so just one drink tonight and some soft drinks then, because we've got to drive home. I'm just thinking, why am I in business with these people? Why can't they, you know? I put it in the calendar, look. Okay, it wouldn't focus, but it says drinks. And like, when you put drinks in a calendar, you don't think like one beer and eight Cokes, do you? What have you two got to say for yourselves? Stop lighting. Yeah, Hannah's gonna pick me up, it's all good. You know, I just, I tried doing nice things for them. And they're just like, do you know how hard it is to be in a, in a male dominated business, right? And you try and organize drinks to kind of go out and have a bit of fun and let off steam. And then you get into work and my eyes look blue. You get into work and they're like, oh, we'll just have, oh, we'll have one beer and then I'm gonna have a few Cokes and go home. It's like, that's not drinks. You know, I'm not saying we have to go out and get on the lash or, or get drunk or anything like that. Expect to get a bit merry, have a bit of fun. Who am I in business with? What is it? You still going up? Sorry, Josh, I'm just doing a skit to the, for the vlog. I hate them so much. Hello, everyone. So it's Tuesday afternoon and uh, I'm nearly done for the day. Stella's here with me. Stells? Stellsy. Stells. Stellsy. Stells. Look, look, look at this. Look. She doesn't want to be on camera. Been a pretty um, pretty good start to the week. Signed off a few jobs. The Brunel print job, which is going on the Sainsbury's window, has been signed off today. That's also been sent to print. So that should be going up onto that window sometime in the next few weeks, which would be cool to see. Probably my biggest piece of artwork that's been printed uh, scale-wise. Tired dog. So this is Stella, Stella the dog. She is a an Akita, Japanese Akita, crossed with a Staffordshire Bull Terrier mixed into one, blended together. She's a very loving dog. She loves cuddles and she loves this toy. Although we can't buy her any expensive toys because she breaks them within minutes. She loves water, she loves going for a paddle. She loves her friend Reggie. It's been about a month now since we've had her. This is actually a casting call as well. If you are a fitness running specific female, one who likes running, we are looking for a young female to be in a film. It's paid work, it's based in London, all expenses paid. It'll be one day's work, and if you fit that, let us know. Send us a message. Today's the day that um, packing up starts to begin. Removing crap from the office that we've accumulated over the past. The bin bags behind me, the boxes are getting getting packed. Ben's bringing in boxes from home. Exciting times. We uh, went down to Aura as well this morning to see the boys there. Ollie ran off a little print, printed proof of the Brunel artwork, which is here. That looks really good. I've changed a few little colors on it. He also did this for me. Well, he didn't really do it for me. I kind of stole it from him. So thanks to Aura for doing this. But um, it's basically a Pantone reference, but it also, also got the CMYK values of all these colors. So when it comes to checking the color that I'm using in the design software, I'm able to look at it on print too. Or I'm able to use these as my colors in my design software. Super handy. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's an office day. Just is editing a little video. Charity shop hall. Ben's on Benson and Beds. Ben is bouncing around on Benson Beds. <laughs> See you later. Hey, Ar. All right, we're back. Some of you may have realized or may have noticed over the times of vlogs that we've got this little white IKEA unit here and you're thinking, what are in those drawers? I'm going to show you what's inside those drawers and holes because 
If it was me, I'd love to be a bit nosy and have a look inside those holes. Am I right, Joss? Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. let's go. Deep dive. Let's go for it. <laughs> uh, so, first off, this one. Currently empty, but did hold loads of books that I use for design inspiration. And they're all in here now. This one is... This one is magazines. Magazines and design work that we have done in-house um, that I like to keep a record of and then just kind of little bits of paperwork um, that I use for inspiration when doing design. So I'm 100% known as the office hoarder here. I am the one who collects the most amount of I've got a valid excuse, I like to say. Um, I use it for reference when it comes to design or anything else kind of creative. Isn't that right, Joss? Yes, for reference. Joss also can back me up because he's used some of this stuff for reference. I have, to be fair. Hopefully. Uh, yes, so here is this drawer which has our design stuff in that we've done in the past. First one, some National Trust work here. Feedback form, what do you think of that, Joss? Very tidy, mate. Uh, this one here is a, it's a notepad for the National Trust. Obviously never written inside it, but yes, some work for Ye Old Swan out in uh, Radcott. This is actually the pub that I was talking to you about the other day. Oh. But this is a All About Memberships workbook that we designed the innards and the outards of um, using the National Trust branding. All photos as well, taken by us. Well, what are you doing? A clear out? Yeah. How much is going in the bin? All that. Magazines. That's, that's, that's good, isn't it? Well, yeah, it begs the question, why was it here in the first place? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I got rid of. All of that going in the bin. How's it make you feel? Thumbs up. Today, I went on to Facebook Marketplace and found myself a little Super 8 projector. That's what they're called. And here it is. It's from Austria. It was made in 1967. Look at that. No idea how it works. If you have a Super 8 camera and you fancy like selling it to me, just let me know. D-A-N at O-T-T-R-W-O-R-K-S dot com. Thanks. Or reach out to me on Instagram at Otterworks or at Otterdam. Insert here. Follow me. Don't follow me. I'm an idiot. She's so hot. Is that nice? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Aura Signs made us these wonderful equipment stickers. Three varying sizes. We've got the small ones at the bottom, big ones in the middle, and then these little kind of medium size at the top. And these are kind of weatherproof, scratch proof, and they go perfectly onto tripods, light stands, etc. Joss and I are heading down now to Swindon Road to a lovely little green area that's been renovated by the people of Old Town, by the people of South Swindon. Joss has got the trolley. Got the trolley. I've got the camera box. We thought, what a great time to get out and just walk to a job for once. That there is not a Banksy P. Joss, do you want to stand with it? Well done, we've made it. Dan and I are back now from our shoot with the South Swindon Parish Council. How did it go, Dan? Very well, thanks. Good. I feel like I haven't spoken to the vlog this week. It's actually our last Friday in this office. It's crazy to think that this time next week we will be in the new place. We put up a little video yesterday where all three of us did a charity shop challenge for £20 who could get the best outfit judged by the one and only KDEF. KDEF! KDEF. Be sure to check that out. I'll put a link up that side, up there, now. There you go. Give that a watch. Can you bring us home, please? Uh, that has been uh, sixty number sixty. Uh, that has been number sixty-five. Okay. That has been Otter Vlogs number sixty-five. Uh, as you can see, they are getting more and more Dan heavy. I have asked Josh to put more of me in, but he just refuses to. Uh, but we hope you like this week's vlog, and we'll see you next week uh, in the new office. Just blur up my face. You've seen enough of me already. Yeah. Bring it here, son. Where the magic is. Look at those blue curly eyes. Sexy bitch!